Metro Atlanta woman fights back after she was almost kidnapped at gunpoint outside a Kroger. This all happened in Marietta. This is right near the intersection of Delk and Powers Ferry Road, which is considered a very busy area. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn, you spoke with police. And Cody, what do we know about this guy who tried to take this woman? Well, right now we can tell you Randy Harmon is a convicted felon. And listen to this. After police say he tried to kidnap the woman outside Kroger last week, he ditched her car and then was arrested the same night in a different stolen vehicle. This isn't something that happens often. But on December 6th, something did happen outside this Marietta Kroger. Nine in the morning, on a Tuesday morning, on a busy intersection, in the middle of all of this industry. Tamika Harris pulls into a parking spot. Little does she know that there's already a convicted felon who has backed into a spot and is looking for a victim. Once she walks inside, the convicted felon was seen on camera moving his car. To be immediately next to her, driver door to driver door. Harris walks out, and as she's finishing unloading her groceries, Officer Chuck McPhillamy says the suspect attacked. As she opens up her driver door to get in, she feels something jab into her side. It's a gun. He's forcing her over that center council. She has a choice. She fought him off. They wrestled over the weapon. He got into the car. He tried to accelerate in an attempt to kidnap her. She got the passenger door open and she fell out as he was speeding out of the parking lot. Harris's car was found a short time later ditched in a nearby neighborhood and not a single thing was missing. You have to ask yourself if he wasn't after any of her belongings, then what did he want? Fortunately, Harris fought back. Thank God that she did and thank God that she did things the way that she did. Officer McPhillamy says while this crime is rare for their city, it's a good reminder. It can happen to anyone at any time, but that's not a cause for fear. It's a request for just due diligence at situational awareness. As I mentioned, Randy Harmon was arrested the same night after Cobb County Police got a hit on a flock camera alerting them of a stolen car. They tracked it down and arrested him. He's facing several felony charges. Now, as for Harris, uh, she got a few bumps and bruises, but was not seriously hurt.